Hey guys, it's Lava Dude, and today we're going to be doing another tier list. This one's going to be a little bit different, however, because we are going to be ranking all of the Fortnite seasons so far. So this is interesting. We're coming up on a new season, so I thought we would do this, and we're going to see which is the best season ever. So as you can see at the top, we have five star, which means it's the best. Then we have A, B, C, and crap meaning it's the worst so to kick us off we have chapter one season one i did not play during this one i think i started around the start of chapter one season two so i don't remember much about this but you know it's og fortnite so i think it's gonna go in c or b it's like right on that line i'm gonna put it as c just because there's like not much to it the default skins are all weird and they were different so i think it's gonna go at c for me next up we have chapter one season two Again, this one was kind of like that, but I did play during this one, and it was pretty fun, so I think it's going to go for a B for me. We started to get more stuff, but it still wasn't Fortnite yet. Next, we have Chapter 1, Season 3. This one was awesome. Here, This is just where everything started to go up. So, I think it's on the fine line between A and B. I think I'm going to stick it at B. We were starting to get skins that were really good. And the storyline was going all the way up. I mean, it was it was getting crazy. But next we have Chapter 1, Season 4. This was by far my most played season when I was on PC. Because if you didn't know, I actually started on PC Fortnite. But then switched over to the Switch in Season 7. And this season I played so much. I loved it. It was amazing. That, for me at least, was peak Fortnite storyline. Next, we have Season 5. This one was awesome, and I was pumped for this one. But I don't think it delivered on everything. It just, there wasn't something, it just wasn't as much as Season 4. Like, there was so much pop for Season 4. It was crazy. And I just think this one wasn't as good as Season 4, but it was really good. So I think I'm going to stick it at an A. Next up, we have Season 6. And guys, I'm going to be real with you. This is, for me, where uh, storylines started to get really bad. Um, this one was good. It had good skins. And, uh, you know, it had some cool map changes. But I think I played this right when it came out. And I was, like, pumped. And I told me and King Super Gamer were going crazy about it. It was nuts. But then, uh, I don't think... I, li I literally did not play the whole season at all. I didn't even know the storyline going into Season 7. I was like, wait, what? But... Yeah, I just, that one, I don't know, it wasn't for me, but I think a lot of other people enjoyed it. So, moving on, we have Season 7. This was the season where I started playing, and I thought it was really fun. A lot of people dog it because of the X4 Stormwing and everything, but I think it was pretty solid. It was a fun season, for me at least. Next up, we have Season 8. This one was really, really good in my opinion. We had a ton of new stuff coming out. The pirates and everything. We had freaking Avengers Endgame in the crossover. It was just insane. I mean, we had like Captain America's Shield and Iron Man's Repulsors, which compared to nowadays isn't like that big. But this season was freaking awesome for me. And then we had the live event. I unfortunately missed out on that because I think I was like out somewhere. I think I was actually at like a Lego Brick Con, which is kind of funny. But I did miss out on that. But it was awesome. So I think season 8 was one of my favorites. Next up, we have Season 9. This one was fun. I'm going to place it at A because we did have some okay skins. They're pretty cool. I still rock some of them. We had pretty cool locations. But I think the reason why it's so high for me is because that end of season live event was insane. It was crazy. It, I mean, it was just mental. It was, it was awesome. The robot fight was insane. And I just realized I forgot to add Season X. For Season X, I think the map changes on it were really, really good, but, you know, the guns were OP, and the freaking brew just kind of ruined the season, so I think the Season X is going to go into crap, and the end of season live event was just awful, and I hated it, and it was just really, really stupid, because, I mean, we led into the black hole, and that was just ridiculous, it was a mess. Next up, we have Chapter 2, Season 1, I mean, does this even have to go up for like opinions it's terrible it was awful we had no map changes we had like zero new guns we had like the motorboat but that was it and there was just nothing it was it was terrible
Next, we have Chapter 2, Season 2. This one, I think I'm going to put it at B. We had some solid skins. They are cool. But the map changes were cool. It just, I don't know, something about it wasn't, like, that good. I think it was because we had that delay that it was, it was longer than it was supposed to be. Like, it got added a couple months onto it. And I think that's why it's in a B tier for me. But next up, we do have Chapter 2, Season 3, and I think this is another one that goes into crap for me, because it just, it just wasn't good. Like, last season was terrible. I mean, we had, like, zero map changes, and there was just really nothing at all. But now we have the Marvel season, and I feel like a lot of people are saying this is a really good season, but for me, I think it's going to go into B. I don't know, because, like, I feel like Mythics have just... There, there's no purpose to mythics now like they just feel really like useless i don't know they it just doesn't feel like a mythic item like it's supposed to be the big and powerful thing and they have so many of them not even to count that we have gotten like one map change so far other than the little rift places all we've gotten is stark industries so that is for my tier list i hope you guys did enjoy if you did leave a like and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, you don't have to dislike the video just because you don't share the same opinion. Leave it in the comments and I'll look at it and maybe I'll agree with you. But I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.